What is a national hero? It's a question that has many answers, because a national hero is many things. An inspirational leader, a selfless provider, a visionary who risks it all to better the lives of others. In Barbados, we celebrate our national heroes every year on April the 28th. And although many of them have passed on, we can't help but wonder what it would be like to talk to them today. To find out why they did what they did on the path to becoming a national hero. Mr. Pescott, uh, Mr. Pescott, good evening. Is it? <laughs> I have a paper due tomorrow morning. Thousands of people are depending on it, yet I am here. Where exactly am I? I'm Tony Cave, and I would just wanted to chat with you a bit and ask you about your your work and about the passion that that seems to drive you. Is that a paper you're working on? Yes, I am the editor of The Liberal. It is through these pages that my fellow blacks, colored and poor whites see the atrocities that occur across this land. From an early age, I saw the power in the pen in highlighting those unfair policies which were only designed to keep us suppressed and bound and I used it and I will continue to write so that the laborers, the, the, the backbone of this fine land will not only see themselves as segregated groups but as one people being abused by the plantocracy. You, you seem very sure about your mission Mr. Preston. Yes, if, if not me then who? I believe I was born to be a leader in this fight. <laughs> my mother, Lydia Smith, was a free colored woman and my father, William Prescott, was a wealthy landowner. And despite me being named after a rich white planter, Samuel Jackman, my complexion made me the brunt of many jokes. And I knew that I would be doomed to doing lowly jobs wherever I worked but I could never stand being a second-class citizen. <laughs> so I read, and I read more books, and I educated myself. And by the age of 23, I was ready to defend my people against the injustices with which they were faced. So was this the reason you entered the House of Assembly? Sir, if I was not a part of the House of Assembly, we would have never achieved the admission for free people to vote in 1831. I am still awaiting the results for my recommendation that the universal adult suffrage be made law. But when I was first elected as a member for the city of Bridgetown, I had my agenda set. I will continue to fight for my rights and my beliefs. Our rights and our beliefs. I lift the faith of the masses. I built the Liberal Party. The Liberal Party was made up of a small number of white people who agreed with me and we acted as the unofficial opposition for 25 years. So I see now why you are regarded as an enemy of the establishment. <laughs> yeah. I prefer counselor or advisor. You see, I just want my people to know their rights so that they can challenge the unfair conditions with which they are faced. The unfair conditions that the plantocracy puts on them. I, 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 I want my people to be educated. I, I want my people to be free. Thank you, Mr. Prescott. Next time on Back From The Past, we will speak to the right excellent Sarah Ann Gill, another of Barbados' national heroes,
pulled from the pages of history.